Here he goes, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. Here he comes, yeah! Good job, Walker, bring him to me, baby. He's got a tag in him, Steve. Does he, you want Yeah, it? it's all mossed up. If we can get a bill, we can cut it out. He's definitely got a tag in him. The Blue, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. Oh, shower inside there. See that shower in there, Scott? No, I'm looking at Bird off the bow. He's coming. He turned around, so he said it. Call that shower, I guess. Yeah, he saw it, because that's where he's going. Amazing, isn't it? Got eyes in the back of his head, doesn't he? There they go, right inside there. They on him? Right on the bird, right on the bird. What it look like? It looks good. Wow. Pretty, 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 pretty. Man, look at those ballyhoo. There's there's more hiding under the boat. <laughs> Where's the predator? I don't see it. Don't see it. Oh, I'd love to see one in this dirty water, buddy. You got any idea? Man, that looked great, Scott. No ID. No ID. That looked really good. Got to be right there, buddy. Right there somewhere. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There he is, here, right here. Yeah, there he is, here he is. Watch here this is. bike, watch this bike. It's gonna be sick. Oh, jump again, jump again. Dude, keep doing that. Keep doing that. Jump one more time, sweetie. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, that's a nice sized fish, too, Walker. That's a good fish, Scotty. Little bit lazy. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh, 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 oh what a oh, bite. Oh. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's holding it, he's holding it. He's yep, just holding yep. it right now. Sweet, baby. It's, it's on his beak, he's just holding it. He's still holding it. He's still holding it. I can see it down there in his mouth. Awesome, Scott. Awesome job. Hooked up. Hooked up, baby. Oh, that was sick! <laughs> this, you can't do that the 50 footer. Uh-uh, uh-uh. See that circle hook? Didn't do nothing. Perfect, man. Perfect yes. shot. That was Perfect. unbelievable! Yeah. yeah, that was great. Oh. That was great. That's what we came here to do. <laughs> oh, it's one on one, baby, right there. That was one on one. Yes, sir. Well, this is not, you know, the old saying life gives you lemons. This is not lemonade. No, no, no. And that's now a, he knows he's hooked. Hey, that's a big fish too, Bubba. <laughs> he's about eight waves out. There he is. Oh, nice, man. Nice. Come on, come on. Come right back to us. Come right back to us. Hail, Walker. Look at him, look at him. He's, he's about ready. Coming up. There we go, he's tired. Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yellowfin. Only in a Yellowfin. Simrad and the brilliant award-winning NSE multifunction display by Mercury Marine. King Sailfish Mounts for that once-in-a-lifetime catch by Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. 
and by Steve Rogers Spear One Charters, Key West, Florida, Scott Walker's Tailwalker Charters, Duck Key, Florida, Under Armour, and Plano. The Keeves, Steve, was, we got there before he ate that time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was a little nervous about him because he kind of, the first couple times, didn't show a whole lot of interest. It could have been a second fish. Cause that that one definitely ate when you got when he got away from the boat a little bit. He still is a slow, yeah, a real slow, slow bite. bite. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you saw the school of Bally who he was working, but it was huge, you know. <laughs> I was baiting up. Now that bird, you know, it, a lot of people were trying to figure out, well, what's he doing? Is he following that tailfish? It actually is. That's his meal ticket. Right. He has to follow a prey, a, a fish, of a predator. You know, it, he, he, yeah, the bait's there. But he can't do anything to that bait without a predator pushing it up. He's not a diving bird. His wings don't have the oil to, to dry, so he has to wait till it jumps. That's why they're always out when you're dolphin fishing, uh, chasing flying fish, and then on the reef in the winters, chasing the ballyhoos. Because the dolphin aren't here now, so they moved inshore, now they're following the sails. In the spring, they'll move out and follow the dolphin. They can only swoop down and peck whatever's on the surface. They cannot get wet, whereas they, they it's safe. You know, you see birds that follow the same fish for hours, days. I mean, I think if you pull up on a, a frigate bird that's out there in 500 foot of water at noon and he's on a big dolphin, I would almost bet that he's been with that dolphin all day since yeah. first of life. You know what I mean? Because that's his meal ticket. You know, he finds a fish that's pushing bait. That bait gets scared. A, a bait's defense mechanism is to jump. So once it jumps and clears, the water, that's when the bird comes in and grabs it, and that's a telltale sign to us that there's some type of predator pushing that bait. And it's artwork to watch them do it. I mean, to not get wet, have a seven foot wingspan on top of a seven foot sail, darting and moving, and then swooping and grabbing a belly right out from its mouth. Very frustrating if, you're, if the bait is on my hook. Yeah. <laughs> a, a lot of people don't realize how, uh, how big that bird is. Like you said, that's a big bird. You know what I mean? That wingspan is six feet. You know, no if and buts about it. Uh, that that might be one of the bigger birds, seabird. That it might it'd be the biggest probably. It is truly six foot minimum. And then again, they're they're also called uh, the man of war bird. And and you see them when a when a smaller bird actually gets a piece of bait <laughs> or gets a value. They swoop in and they are the they are the bully of the of the situation. They come in there and they'll snatch and pull pluck feathers out of another bird <laughs> yep. and, and, and cause that bird to gurgitate whatever he has and then that frigate will swoop in and eat it. Uh, they're gonna get it what's theirs. They're they're the biggest, they're the baddest. And they usually win those battles with the, the turns and the seagulls. What pound leader you got on that one, Scott? What's that? What pound leader you got on that one? 30 fluorocarbon. Okay. He probably wouldn't have ate 40, would he? He didn't want Not to eat that 30. Not as he was. I wouldn't have had a bit higher than that. As murky as the water is. Yeah. I'm surprised he was so fussy. Perfect. Here he comes. I'm not going to bring him up out of the water, Scott. We're just going to... Yes, I totally get, agree. Get a hold of him and do the best behavior for him. He was a great uh, participant, so we'll be good to him. <laughs> Feeling good about today so far? Oh, yeah. We've seen two. Just got off we, the anchor. We just got off. We just got done with bait, and we've seen two fish already, and we got one on, so... I'm going neutral for a second. He's lassoed right around the bill. Look at him. Look at him. This side will work or no? I can take him on this side, Scott, if you bring him this way. Okay. I got, he's, he's about ready. Coming up. Okay. There we go. He's tired. Get ready. He's tired. Yep, I'm ready. Bring him right to you. Coming up. I got nice him. grab, baby. That's a beauty. Good fish, Scott. Get the hook out of him right here. All right, good, good release. All right, I got the hook. I got the hook. All right, beautiful fish, Scott. All right, Scotty, I'm gonna turn him loose, buddy. I think he's ready. All right, man, good job. That's a big boy. Thank awesome, you. Man. Oh, look at that thing go. Awesome fish. Long. He's skinny. He's long. No, he had some weight on him, man. He was long. Oh man, there he goes. Let's do that again. That was again, a good fish. And again. Good fish.
E10 gasoline has been introduced all over the United States. While E10 gasoline has some benefits, there are also many problems that this new formulation can cause as well. The biggest problem with E10 fuel is phase separation. That's what happens when too much water gets absorbed into the fuel. This is not good for the engine or fuel system, not to mention the environment. Ethanol is also very corrosive and can corrode fuel tanks and other fuel system components at a rapid rate. It is important to add a fuel additive that guards against corrosion every time you fill your tank. We strongly recommend adding a product like Marine Formula Stable Ethanol Treatment with every fill-up. This will protect your engine from ethanol-induced corrosion as well as help keep the entire fuel system clean. Buyers beware. Make sure to use a trusted and established brand when seeking a complete fuel additive like Stable or Marine Formula Stable, as both are highly recommended by many original equipment manufacturers. Stay right on those birds. Scotty, let me get two, so find them both. Uh, he's right at the bell, 11 o'clock, dead ahead. Two got fish, him, I got two him. fish, two fish. He's right on the birds. Keep watching, I got John. Him. Look at the sail. I got him, buddy. Let me get in there with you. Two fish, two Three fish. I'm getting bit. Which one's you, that? Yep. Oh, he's still behind us. They, they left me. We got, to, we got to do a 180. All right, he ate me. He's eating me right now. I'm on. Sorry. I went back to get my bait. I come around the corner, bait it up, and there was the fish. Make the cast, and then there's a second one. And then the third one. So I, I, baited, I, baited, I baited up while you had that fish on, and there was a fish on the back end of the boat chasing a school of bally. It was beautiful, you know. Oh, I heard you. But colors I didn't lit up. I, I mean, was classic. kind of busy. But you made it sound pretty darn exciting back yeah, there. Yeah, one, one, one bait fish broke out of the school, and he was keyed in on one fish, and he was right on him. And I actually put that bally right in between him and that bait. Just like you knew what you did. Yeah, yeah. He gobbled it up. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't stay glued. You know, he'd come up shaking, thrashing his head, and the bally hoop come right back at me. Oh, golly! Spit it! Don't, run the bird, run the bird, run the bird. Bait's so dead. <laughs> you want to grab this one real quick? Or you yeah. want to mess with it? Coming up right behind the boat. Right behind the motors. Boy, it's hard to catch a sailfish around you, Walker. Embrace the circle. Hey, Embrace them. You should have seen how He's pretty that up. was behind A. The <laughs> fish I had. How'd you turn him away from all those hot 100 bellies? Because he singled out one bait and ran right to the motor, and I put my bait right in front of that. It was nice. It was beautiful, man. <laughs> um, do a hard 190. Let's get him. The birds are on another pack. Let's, let's, not, let's get this one quick and catch two you more. You just later on, pal? Yeah. Dude, that was sick. I'm gonna stay right here. All right, here we go. He's coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. Here he comes. Yeah! Good job, Good job Walker. Bring him to me, baby. He's got a tag in him, Steve. Does he? You want yeah, it? it's all mossed up. If you can get a bill, we can cut it out. He's definitely got a tag in him. This will be awesome. Here where he's been. You got one left in you, Cobra? I got one, baby. Bring him to me. Look at him go. That's an old tag. You see all the growth all on it? All mossed up. Go get him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome, Scotty. Every one of these fish has been over 50 pounds, Scott. I know. This Some one's got a big old block head pounds. on it. Yeah. He's going to jump. Yeah, sunset. Get ready, Cobra. Here comes the Cobra. He's got a little bit left. A little I know, bit. I know. I, whenever that tail is like that angle right there, if it touches the boat, he ain't going to close the gap. You know what I mean? I want that tag, baby. I'll try to get it for you. There he is. That's me. I'm bringing him. I'm bringing him. I'm bringing him. One more time. Got nice it. snag. Unbelievable. Take your time. Take your time. Yep, I got it. It's all good. See a wiper. All right. Just look how deep he is. Good oh. God. This is ancient. Tom, Tom, good there. He needs to go to the bow. Look at that. Ready? Can you get underneath of him? Beautiful, man. Awesome fish. 
We got the tag out. We got the fish. Got him an old, this is an old battle scar, man. Yeah, this is a warrior right here, buddy. <laughs> All right, we're gonna turn him loose, Scotty. All right. Ready you ready? All right, here we go. Nice. Woo! Look at that tag. That is incredible, man. Orange one, it's, a, it's the uh, Fish Foundation. All right. All right, let's see if we already caught that one. Yeah, man. Nice. Let's find those birds. Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yeti Coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Isla Mirada, sport fishing capital of the world. By Okuma Fishing Tackle, there is no stopping Okuma. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. And Staybill, for everyday protection against the damaging effects of ethanol. Wintertime, uh, it's not uncommon for us uh, to receive multiple recapture reports, you know, daily and, and you know, weekly from sailfish in South Florida. And uh, uh, a couple weeks back, I was fortunate enough to have um, the chance to talk to Scott Walker about a fish that uh, was recaptured on the show and uh, gave the tag number and the fishing off of uh, Key West on uh, November 22nd of 2010. And I was able to put that information into our database uh, using the tag number and uh, search for who caught the fish and, and, and where it was at the original time. And uh, after a little bit of research, I was able to find out that that fish was actually tagged off of uh, Hillsborough Inlet in Florida, just uh, off of Boca Raton and Highland Beach um, in, on Christmas Day of 2007. And so exciting parts of my job, uh, because it's, it's always nice to talk about fishing with someone, but it's especially nice to talk to someone who's tagged a fish that was actually recaptured. And to be able to tell somebody that that fish that they tagged um, was also recaptured on a television show, and he was quite, he was pretty excited to, to hear about that. So I gave him a call and sent him an email. Um, I was able to find the original information on the tag. Upon hearing this, he was, he was, you know, quite excited. It was actually Howard's first sailfish that he'd ever caught, and so it was a great Christmas present. And it turns out it's one of those things, the, the gift that keeps on giving. Well, well, tagging is a pretty interesting uh, procedure, and everybody gets excited about the, the part that has the tag stick and the tag, and when you, you know, get the fish up on the, on the leader and you take a couple pictures of the fish you know, right next to the boat. But there's also a tag card um, that has all the information about the fish, and it has the same number as the tag, and it has you know, the size, the species, the date, and the location, you know, with the angler name and the captain name and all that information. And, uh, so once the fish is tagged, when you get back to the dock, you just fill out the information and, and send that in uh, to the Billfish Foundation, and then we're able to take that card and enter it into the database. And so the card doesn't sound as exciting as the, the, the tagging process, but it's, it's actually as important as, as anything else because it provides the tool that we use to translate fishing into science. Here's our tagging stick, and here's the tag head. It's made of uh, surgical nylon, and it's double barbed to uh, Make sure that it, it stays in the fish longer and give a better chance of recapture. And here we have a connection that, so this stays inside the fish. Here's the connection and here's the streamer that you're actually, the tag streamer, and it has a, has a number down here as well as the contact information for the Billfish Foundation. And so when you get the fish up close to the boat, um, you kind of want to play them out and make sure he's tired and wait for a, a, you know, a good shot because it's important because tagging is a tool for conservation. So. It's important to, uh, to place the tag um, in an area that's above the lateral line and uh, well away from the fish's head and gills. And uh, so you put it on the, on the fish's back and uh, this part will stay inside the fish and then so the part that's visible remaining is uh, the, the tag number. And so we like to put a rubber band or something down here at the, uh, a little lower on the tag stick to make sure that when you put it down that the tag doesn't fall into the water. And with this, insert tag pops off and then the tag fish swims away like this, no worse for wear, and uh, next thing you know, you might get a call from myself or someone from the Billfish Foundation telling you that Scott Walker's recaptured your sailfish. Also, remember to keep the information about the fish, how big the fish was, what size, what species, and uh, this is the part that you'll see visible, and so you have the tag head will be inside the fish. So you kind of want to leader them, get them close to the boat, and then uh, with a, you know, a bait knife or a pair of scissors or whatever you can, just snip this monofilament uh, section, save the tag and the information, and uh, we'll provide you with an award. And here is a 
recapture certificate that we have all made up uh, for Scott Walker, and uh, we're, 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 pretty, we're pretty happy to be able to give it to him, pretty proud of it. That was a big fish. Yeah, that was a 75 pounder. Uh, he caught it four years ago. I think that he put down it was 35 pounds at the time. So, you know, we, we didn't get much for range with that fish, but you know, just the growth rate. You know that the first year sailfish are going to be almost five feet long, 20 pounds, just like a uh, mahi mahi first year fish is 20 pounds. Man, we want the tag, so we had to take a little extra time, and that extra time kind of finished the day for us. But at least, what a way to finish! Eight foot seas, and you know, the whole day had just finally come around. We we had a good game plan, and it worked. Oh, you know, start to finish. I mean, we didn't have ideal conditions, but we found the best conditions. You know, as the day went along. It was nice to end the day with that big fish. I mean, again, that was a huge shellfish. He was old, old warrior, had a tag, but that was a good way to end the day. It was. Great fishing. Great. What's next? Another trip, brother. <laughs> Whatever the wind lets us do.